welcome back. A political showdown is brewing between Republicans at the Texas State Capitol, and it all comes after current House Speaker Dade Phelan survived the primary runoff election and then said he's pretty confident he will remain Speaker come January. So political reporter Jack Fink is here with us. And Jack, what could this mean for Texans and this election? Well, Amelia, the House could become more contentious and nasty between Speaker Dade Phelan's Republican supporters and opponents. This week, Attorney General Ken Paxton, who helped campaign against Phelan, warned House Republicans against voting for Phelan as Speaker in January, suggesting they'll face a primary challenger if they do. I spoke with two Collin County Republican lawmakers who say they are not concerned about that threat. Not at all. I mean, look, he's just, he's, he's, he's bitter. He's playing games. I don't think a lot of people take him seriously. Look, there's, you know, there's a small group, you know, five, six percent. The Republican base that that follow follow his lead and, and, and the like. General Paxton can spend all the time he wants and all the tweets he wants um, and all the energy he wants threatening Republican House members. Uh, but my focus is on, and I would encourage his focus to be on helping us beat Democrats up and down the ballot in November. I also spoke with other state representatives who side with the Attorney General. I completely agree with Attorney General Ken Paxton. This is going to be a war, and this next session is going to be the same result if we do not go in and fight for our GOP priorities. I hope that the message that was received uh, to my Republican colleagues in the Texas House is that this last primary season should be a wake-up call for you if you continue to collude with the Democrats to betray the Republican voters of the state of Texas who sent you there. Along with those interviews, you'll hear why one conservative says when the new legislative session begins in January, the Texas House will become more MAGA. All of that on Eye on Politics this Sunday morning at 730. We certainly hope you will stay tuned and join us Sunday morning. Amelia. Thank you.